Well, well, well. Well, well, well. The day has finally arrived. The day of reckoning is upon us. I'm a Tomcat. Good morning, sir. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Congrats on your first. Very well done. GG's. Thank you for setting up the death counter as well. I think that's what I saw going on. Appropriate, I would say. Appropriate and it, and useful. Active. It's going to be active today. Uh, but well done. Down catch number one. Ah! Eight days now. Over a week. Can't can't sing the, that one bare naked lady song anymore. Not allowed. Banished. Very good. Congrats. Thanks for being here early and for setting stuff up early and stuff too. That's that's huge. <clears throat> the classic Zelda intro. Oh yes, right. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot that that even existed. Uh, it's on YouTube. You can look it up. Hold on. Let's play it. Let's play it. Because it doesn't feel right now. All of a sudden. Uh, Zelda can can. It's classic. You gotta. We gotta do it. My name is Sir the Pilgrim, and I'm bad at the Legend of Zelda. Is that what the quote used to be? It's been so long. Oh. Oh. That's not what I want. Little teaser. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Let's just enjoy it. Starts off with Bongo Bongo. Right? This is pretty sick. You got there in the end. <laughs> That's my favorite part there, the opening and closing of the menu. Not me over here thinking to myself, I bet I could recreate these visuals in like HD. Modern. Modern HD. <clears throat> Might have to add on a little side project to myself there. Recreate the Zelda Can Can. Take the audio, give credit where credit is due, and just remake the visuals. That might be pretty cool. That might be pretty cool. Yeah, imagine waking up to that. Sorry. Uh, and hi, Amber. Good morning as well. Hi. How's, how's it going? Um, and yeah, two guys and a zombie. I forgot about that. That was my college final film. And at the end credits, which I think were actually longer than the film itself, I used the uh, Super Mario version of the Can Can as the end credits theme song. Pretty good. And uh, yeah, so we, we, we were just watching the Zelda Can Can because that's how I used to open every stream that I would play Zelda. And uh, I forgot to do that today. So Matt pointed it out. So we, we had a watch and went down memory lane for a little bit because why not? Because why not? Um, 
No, I don't want Metroid right now. Or the Roost. What music are we feeling right now? Oh, fuck yeah, here we go. A solid jam. Um, how's everybody doing this morning? I hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for th for being up early. I don't know what time it is round to world, but I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's early, or not. <laughs> so time zones work. It either is or it isn't. It's 10 a.m. here. I just want to give a little shout out to uh, for Tomcat because he did not only get up early to watch the stream, but he also did work on some stuff before the stream even started. So just a quick little shout out to Tomcat as well, just for being there. Uh, I still have Speedstorm installed, Manny. I still, I still want to give it a try. I, I just, I it's just need to find time to actually do that. Um, but I would love to hear the pirate remixes. Yeah, I, I didn't even think that. Like, are there like pirate levels and stuff in that game? Because that, that could be, that could be a potential pirate week stream. <laughs> Gotta earn your pay. Ah, oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. We'll, we'll do some races. We'll do some races. Gotta earn your pay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna do this to you guys. I'm gonna do one of these. Hold on, hold on. Um, the Pokemon Go videos. You guys have been enjoying them so far. I hope so. I hope so. Um, the newest one, the one that I uploaded yesterday, is not doing very good. <laughs> so, if you haven't seen it yet, there it is. Maybe go have a look. Click that thumbs up button stuff. Leave, maybe leave a little comment saying, hey, oh, this is cool. Something like that. It just helps, it helps push it forward. And we're really trying to make the push, the push this, uh, this year. Second video has, uh, sorry, the third video has done better than the first video, which is great. Which is great. The first video is now my base, my baseline of what I think is a decent performance of those videos. Because the second one is, is, did way too well. So that's not a very good baseline at all. But the fact that episode one and episode three are both kind of similar, I feel like that's a decent baseline. And after two weeks and a week up, and only a day up. I mean, it's not doing horrible. This time next week, hopefully it'll be sitting around the same area. But yeah, I've been I've been having a really good time making them. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's getting me outside. It's given me like little projects to edit in the afternoons and stuff. It's been really nice. Um, it's felt really good to make videos again as well. That That isn't just like cutting something up. And just like putting a little bit more effort and, and ideas and stuff into it. So it's been nice. It's been it's been a creative a creative outlet that I didn't know I needed, which is very cool. Which is also leading to me planning some other projects. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we'll see if that leads to creative productivity or if it leads to creative depression and burnout. Because it'll either lead to one or the other two. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Fun making them is what matters. Exactly. Yeah. As soon as the stream ends today, I've gotta I've gotta get started on another one because the new event starts today, I believe. Team Rockets are out and about. Cousin, cousin Foss. And, um... There's a new quest line, it looks like, yeah. There's, um, new Pokemon as well. Varum and Revavroom are in the game now. It's 14.38 where you are, Amber. So that is 20 to, 20 to 3. That's not bad. That's quite late in the afternoon, though. Goodness me, I'd almost be finished work. If I lived where you live, I'd be 20 minutes away from finishing work on the weekdays. But where I live, I'm an hour away from the halfway point. <laughs> That's wild. Time zones, everybody. Okay. Duh. We're, uh, all right. <laughs> it's time. It's time, everyone. Let's do it. Let's check in. I, I'd be lying with you if I didn't say I was a little excited to revisit this today. Because it's been so long kind of curious, you know? Uh, 
<clears throat> Maybe I've gotten better. Maybe I've learned a thing or two. I doubt it. But anything is possible, you know? Anything anything could happen. Uh, where do we... Ah. Good morning, B. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, dear. Buenos morning. How's B? How, how was your... How was work? You had an overnight last night, didn't you? And thanks, Manny, for watching them all and uh, for making them your new Friday routine, Matt. Uh, that's, that's huge. Um, we've got Boob and we've got Richard. I don't remember doing any of these. Level 1, 1, and 1, so I clearly didn't go very far. Richard, level 7, 7, and 8. I don't know how far that is either. What are we going with this time? What are we naming him? What's our little guy going to be called? Link? Lunk? Lunk? Tits? <laughs> Poo boy. <laughs> we'll go with tits. Uh, Blungo? Blungo is also pretty good. Uh, I hate the controls. Um, no overnights last night, but technically I did stay up and make ginger cookies. Oh! Well, there you go. Not work, but cookies. Which are also good. Richard was your end game run from so long ago. Was it really? Was that the... Was that the the legendary stream playthrough? I didn't realize I did it on the Switch. Although that makes sense, I must have. That a Triforce? Oh heck yeah! Yeah, I've only ever beaten this game once. Let me tell you. Where the fuck do I go? I should have brought open a walkthrough for this. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how to play this game. I know how to, how to jump and I know how to swing a sword. I know it's not this way. <laughs> I don't think it's this way. Hello? Is anyone home? My controls are weird. The name is Blongo. Tits Blongo. <laughs> Perfect. Please let me... Uh, hello, young fellow. Yeah, sorry I didn't come into the house with you. I'm full health, you see. Hey! Stop and stare! Oh, stop and rest here. Okay. Is there a wizard? Does a wizard live here? Hey! Ha! <laughs> hey, we found the guy immediately. Wow! Legendary character in all video games number two. Cause last year, last year we met the shopkeep in Resident Evil Four. This year, it's I am Error. This is a freaking video game celebrity right here. Incredible. Nice to meet you, Error. Goodbye. That's all he does. Legendary. Legendary. Oh. Is this a wizard house? Hello? Use keys in palaces. They are found in. Thank you. Oh my god. Can you imagine a Zelda 2 randomizer? I don't think it can be done, can it? Because you can't progress... There's no, like, open world. Well, I guess there is an open world. There literally is an open world. But there's no... There's no... Freedom, really. Can I go down this way yet? Ah, no, I'm just gonna get killed because I can't see anything. Okay. We go to the right first, I think. <laughs> I don't know why I went left. It's against every fiber in my being to go left, but I went left. Uh, I work in a bit soon, so just stopping by to wish everyone a good morning. Oh, well, thank you, B. I hope you have a good day at work. Where... Where are the baddies? Come on. I need to kill them for experience. And yeah, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, no matter what it is, turn left. Come on, come on. 
imagine a real life randomizer doing film school when you're like four years old. Oh my god, a real life randomizer. <laughs> you wake up. You w every day you wake up, it's a different day of your life. Randomly distributed. You don't know what the day is going to be. You don't know what age you're going to be. You don't know where you're going to be in your life. You don't know. Oh, wow. That would be wild. Imagine watching a movie like that. Where every day you wake up, it's like Groundhog Day. But instead of repeating the same day every day, you live your life normally. Except every day is a different day of your life. In a different, in a random, randomly shuffled order. Boom, plot. There you go. Write it. Write it, Disney. Oh, hello? Get out. Get candle in Parappa Palace. Right. Wait. Wait, wait, where's the red lady? Can you do me a kiss? Hello? No? Can you do me a kiss? Can you do me a kiss? Talk with... Yeah! Give me a kiss! Each town has a wise man. Learn from him. Okay. I'll go talk to your uncle, but I wanted a smooch. Your weird, creepy uncle that lives in the basement. In Parappa Desert, use this magic to survive. Okay. Shield. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, old man. Now you're just facing a wall? What am I doing? Oh. What's got you facing a wall? Is it a wall? Yump, yump, yump. Oh, you turn left. Ah, yes, of course. That does tend to happen quite often, yeah. Funny enough, when someone tells you to turn left, it does usually mean you're just looking at a wall. Unless you're very lucky. Yump, 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 yump. I think they want me to go west. So maybe I was going the right way after all. Yeah, I don't think I can do any of the caves without the candles, so. I do want to level up, though. I want to kill some guys. Come here. Give me your exp. Give me your exp and some health as well, because I don't want Matt to have to use that death counter at all today. Look at my down thrusting stabby stabby. I learned. I learned something. I don't want the big guys, though. I want the little guy. Yeah, there you go. Little guys with small experience. Clear divide, decorating for the party so you're lurking. No worries, my dude. I'm excited. I can't wait to see the decorations. I'm not going to be there until a little bit later today, so I think I'm going to miss a decent chunk of the actual birthday party. But um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing everybody and seeing the house and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, many. Oh, yeah, the, the turn left thing, that, that has stuck with us. All these many, many years. It's it's still a reference that pops up all the time. Whenever I'm playing a game and I get to like a maze or something like that, or like a, hey, do you want to go left or right? I always know what way to pick. It's taken that confusion away entirely. Okay, I've gone west and there's a cave. Do I need to go? I don't need to go through the cave without lighting, right? That's not... that's not the case. Bink! Genuinely can't remember where to go. It's like the bees card in Cards Against Humanity. You always pick it. Exactly. Oh my god, I, I haven't played that game in so long. Do you want me to go up there? Why, don't, why can't I remember where the first... dungeon is? Is it down here? There's another cave. I need the frickin' candle. Uh, I don't remember the last time I played any kind of board game, though, honestly. Not just Cards Against Humanity. 
Uh, let me know if you want some guidance. Uh, yes, I absolutely do at this point. I, like I said, I, I should have a walkthrough up. I should have opened one myself. Because I, I have no idea where to go. That is not the challenge. Finding off where to go. Not the challenge here. Oh, the single forest square. See, I forget that that's, like, done intentionally. And it's not just, like, a weird old-school design trick or something. Cause like I walk past it over and over again, thinking, "Oh yeah, they just they just stuck it there." It probably probably doesn't mean anything. But I don't have old school game thinking logic anymore. There's bats. Come on, come on, come on, bats. Try again. Come on. Ah. There, look, I killed your friend. There you go, I killed that one too. Come on. Bats. Come on. No, I want the experience. Come on. No. Yeah, I got him. Let's go. And also more experience. Okay, what do we want here? I don't remember. I'm not prepping. I'm not like going into the game prep here. That's, that's ridiculous. Life? Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know if it would let me... Oh, I didn't have enough experience to get anything else right. I see. I'm remembering now how this works. Restart now that you're here. Uh, I, uh, okay, we will. Look, we'll, re we'll go in here and we'll start again. Nice, nice quick restart. Fantastic. Um, okay. They said here's a shield for the desert. So I'm assuming I need to go into the desert, right? Like, is it up here somewhere and I'm just missing it? Is this there's one square in the desert tile and I just haven't stepped on it yet? You do have to go through a cave. Oh shit, alright. Is it this desert cave? Is it this desert cave? No, it's not. It's to the east. Okay. See, I thought we had to go east. Is it this one over here? It has to be. It's the only other one. Ah! No, oh, they've got... Okay, now... I was gonna say, now things start to get difficult, but I forgot I had a shield. As I frequently do in Zelda games. Uh, oh! Juice! I'm wondering if, if this cave just doesn't have anybody in it. I'm gonna jump around. Oh no, there's something there. Do a quick jump. Okay. Easy, easy cave to get through. Alright, we figured it out. And there's the dungeon. The temple. Okay. We did it! All these villagers telling me to go west. What a freaking lie. Like, you do have to go west, but not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not right away. Okay. Can I ho I listen, I hope I can at least get through the first dungeon pretty decently. It's the first one. Are none of these enemies giving me experience? That's, that's... Oh, I do remember this, though. Oh. I do remember hating this. Get... Get stabbed. Oh, that guy did, though. Alright, nice. And hey, we got a key! Alright. Can you break these blocks? I, re I seem to remember... Don't we get like a hammer later or something? Then we can break them. I can't even remember less. Come on, come here. That gave me two. I'll take two experience. There's more than zero. Oh. Not even gonna dull my sword.
dum 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 solid tune absolute bop you gotta give it to him now is it a solid bop because everybody secretly loves Zelda 2 or is it a solid bop because they put it in Smash Brothers Can you get closer to me when you attack? Thanks. Uh, magic will go up. Do I cancel and wait for life, or do we just go with magic will go up? We cancel. I am about to die. Uh, but that's okay. We'll hopefully level up before that can happen. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I mean, ow. 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 We can still get the level up here now, though. Because why would it happen? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Life will go up. Jeez, I wouldn't mind the attack up, though, next time. Being able to kill things quicker. Oh! Where does this go? Doo -doo -doo. Uh, does that guy shoot fireballs? Doesn't he have a secret? I feel like one of those heads has a secret at some point. Alright, we'll leave it for now. I found a key! And listen, one one life gone, and we're how, how far in? Tw half an hour. Pretty decent. Pretty decent, considering at the end of my full playthrough last time, I had 400 or more deaths. So we're doing alright. Was that a boss? Was that a mini boss? That must have been a mini boss. Bum, bum, bum. It's really weird to revisit this game because it's 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 once you kind of know what you're doing, just like the other Zeldas, it's a little bit more enjoyable because it's a bit more of a breeze. You kind of know where you're going. You kind of know what's up. It's like a bit of a walk in the park as, a, as opposed to a struggle. I say that now, but I haven't made it to Death Death Mountain yet, so. That's the way I came from. We hate the bubbles. We hate the bubbles. That's where the ferry was. We gotta go down, 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 well. How's my Pal World play going? It's going well. Uh, I got to... I got to... Um, oh, fuck these dark nuts. I got to a certain point now where it seems like nothing I do is giving me enough experience to progress. So I've kind of stopped playing. It seems to have really slowed down. I need a ridiculous amount of materials in order to make the next thing that I need, and my pals aren't mining when I'm not around, so I just need to AFK with them, and it's just, I don't want to do that. So I'm just taking a bit of a break right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll get back into it, I'm sure. I want to catch them all. I want to complete the decks, right? So I'm not, I'm not finished until I do that. Uh... I'm gonna cancel. I want I want that attack. I want the attack power, which is the next level up. So, like level 42. Holy shit! I'm uh, level 31, I think. So maybe 32. Something like that. Uh, it's still pretty fun though. I, I'm big fan. Big fan. I look forward to seeing what improvements they make. Playing on a server has been pretty fun too. Um. Shit. Uh, so I don't know. It's it's been good. It's been fun. I think 
I think I might play a little bit more on my solo world. Um, and I think I'll really have a good time as, uh, on there as well, because the server is great, because you get to socialize and just running around and then walk, like, running into someone you know on a server is just really cool. Oh, boss time. Um, but uh, the server lag and stuff is a bit annoying, and the servers don't have uh, a lot of optimization or anything like that, so... Good call, Matt. Good call. Horseman! It's a horse, of course! His is bigger than mine. Oh. Uh. Stop swinging that at me! Alright, I thought we might have had it there. Game over! Return of Ganon! Oh, he came back. He came back. <sighs> Alright. And we start again. We lose all experience. Well, we lose the experience we had built up. And we start again. Do, do, do. Oh man, those emotes! I, I, I miss those emotes. You had such good emotes, Manny. The, the the pink panther stuff as well, and the and the pink aliens. I liked it. Made a trip to the woods and planted a few logs. Ah, I see. Excellent. Good, good, good. Good. There's a secret south of the palace? Uh-huh. That's trying to get me killed. All these murderous bubbles. Oh. Hydrate. You know what? I think I will. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go away from me! The experience, though. Oh! Uh. Well, that was lucky. Ow, stop it! I'm picking up an item! Stop! Leave me alone, old man! Tomcat's here, waiting for me in this graveyard! With a boomerang! That son of a bitch. Ah. Uh. Did he bring his brother? No, he's not here. Okay. Alright. Let me actually hydrate. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Well, thank you for that. We got a free health upgrade, so that's something. Better than nothing. Oh. And we didn't die, which is most important. We might die once we enter the temple now that we're on such low health, but that's okay. What am I drinking? I've got a Java monster this morning. I spent the last three days not having any energy drinks. Um, so I figured I'd uh, treat myself this morning. We got a bit of a long day ahead of me today, too, so. I'm streaming from 10 to 1, and then from 1 to 3, I need to do Pokemon Go recordings, and then from 3 to 6-ish, I'm celebrating my mother's birthday with my mother and some family, and then afterwards is the Royal Rumble with the boys. So. Long day. Gonna be up until at least 1 or 2, I'd say, this morning. If it goes late, if it starts 9.30, yeah, it's probably going to be late night. And then we've got Ass and Sass tomorrow morning, so. I assume we have Ass and Sass tomorrow morning. I don't know. It's going to depend on how we feel. <laughs> Happy mom birthday. Yeah, her birthday's today. She's, um, we're going out for pizza, which is pretty solid. Do I have to do the whole, I was just about to say, do I have to do the whole dungeon again? But no, I just need to make my way through it. I've got all the keys and stuff done already. 69 experience. Nice. Nice. We can probably finish it. We can end the game here, I think. Actually, we don't need to go any further. So we go right, and then we go down, I think, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
I don't know where we're going for pizza yet, though. Be interesting to uh, find out. If an enemy would, like, drop, like, a health potion... Oh, I attacked the wrong way. Come on, Skellingtons. I would love to go back and look at the footage from the first time I did this and see my first time going through this first dungeon and how it how it changed. Uh, I don't really care about magic, to be honest. We use it for story mode stuff, and that's about it. And I don't think we're going to get far enough where that becomes a problem. So I'm just going to focus on health and attack today, just to see how far we can get. Peaches should be solid, otherwise it would be a drink. You're right, I agree. I agree. Oh, I definitely wasn't down here killing Dark Nuts. Uh, in my first attempt at this. I don't think so, anyway. There we go. Lovely. Four times, not bad. We're still doing all right. Ah, now where was that, like, seconds ago? Oh, that wasn't even health. What was that? Was that just, like, a big... mana potion? Oh, it was experience, I see, okay. Ow! Stop jumping! Come here! Stop this! Stop this! Stop! Come here! Stop! Uh, not feeling super confident with this one, to be honest with you. Unless this guy heals me. Which he won't. If I could level up before the boss, that'd be cool. But I don't think I will. Uh, he's here. Because why would he? Exactly. Well, there you go. <laughs> One more sword twice, missed both times, and he just kind of slapped me in the ass with his mace a little bit, and I was done. Oh, now I can just shoot him in the head. Oh no, he doesn't like... he doesn't like that. You gotta be... you gotta be confident in your attacks. Oh, come on! Ow! There we go! Yeah! Does that effect too, when like the lights start flickering and everything flashes and you see the shadow behind? It adds like so much depth behind the character. It's so cool. Big fan of that. Look at this guy's nose! That's someone I'd call Todd. Absolutely. That's a Todd if I've ever seen one. Look at him. Oh my god. Alright, we're out. No! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Doesn't this guy have something too? Isn't there... Isn't there one of these dungeons that has, has like a secret right at the beginning? Maybe it's later. There's like a full health pot there or something like that. I remember that from our runs before. Worm! Just running. Just leaving. Just going. Time to go. Uh, didn't get a candle, though, which I thought was the whole purpose of this dungeon, but... That's alright. There's another cape with the candle in it, right? We just got a little bit of a crystal from that. Did that solve any of our issues? Maybe I'm supposed to go into that cave up there. I don't think I even even looked in it. Or no, that's where we came out, of course. Duh. There was a candle in the palace. I didn't notice you didn't get it. Oh, there's a Oh, I need to go get the item in the palace. I see. Okay. You don't just get it after you fight the boss. I don't think I got it. I think it would show me somewhere if I had it, right? Is it like an item?
Flippity boom, flippity boom, flippity. Okay, where do we think it is? Hmm. Who wins tonight? I think, I think Gunther is going to win the men's rumble, and I think Bailey is going to win the women's rumble. But I don't know. Anything could happen. We're in a time now where I wouldn't be surprised if if what I think happens doesn't is nowhere near the thing that actually happens. Kane and Stephanie McMahon. Oh boy. Oh what a I mean listen. Never say never, right? Uh okay, where do we think this candle is? Down there, maybe? Did we not go down that way before? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I don't remember this. It must be down here, yeah. Oh, these fucking bubble rooms. Oh, see, now this is... This is... This is bringing me flashbacks. I hate the bubbles. Kane tosses out CM Punk again. Steph wins with a Triple H return. <laughs> Oh my god. There was a picture of him getting off the off the plane though. Go! Go, Link, go! Ah! Don't make me do this in midair. Ah! No! I wanted to kill them. Ah. We get a jump upgrade too at some point, don't we? That would also be nice. Oh, lovely. Love a piss bag on the floor, you know what I mean? Get absolutely slaughtered. There's the candle. Hooray! Now we can go through caves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does he hold his sword upside down when he jumps? Why would you do that? Hey, can you guys let me up the stairs? Without killing me? Hey, can I come up there? Ah, without killing me, I said. Oh, how, how intense. Run, they're coming for you, Link. Oh my god, there's no way I make it through this hallway without getting hit. That one was out for blood. But do I keep the candle? Does Tits get to keep his candle? I do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That was a quick way out of the dungeon. I did that on purpose. That was a speedrun tactic. Uh, big speedrunners like me in the Zelda 2 category are just really good at that kind of thing, so it's fine. There we go. What's in this cave? I don't really remember. I know there's reason to come in here, but I don't remember... Why? Is it like a life up or something, maybe? Oh no, it's a... Something good. A pot? Oh, magic upgrade. Okay, nice. Nice! We, spe we specifically weren't taking the magic upgrades when we leveled up, so that's nice to get one of those, I suppose. Whee! Whoa. And now we go... Now we go to the cave. Now we listen to the people in the town who told us to go east. And now we... Now we... Or west, sorry. Now we go west. Because we can go through this cave down here. Excellent! I'm remembering! Dun, 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 dun. And the desert. Yeah, true. They did say the desert. Yeah. Oh. 
not a difficult cave to get. Matt? 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 Put your boomerang away! Ugh. I'm dying here. I'm dying here! Unless, if I pick magic, does my health go up? I don't think so. That wouldn't make any sense. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I fought him off as much as I could. I did my best. All right, this is this is a bit of a difficult cave to get through. Now that I reconsider the facts, mostly just because of this jackass, though. Oh boy, there's a whole other section, isn't there? Oh, I remember this cave now. I remember this cave. There's another guy. Ah, oh, bats! Like, I'm having... hella flashbacks to this cave specifically. Oh, but it puts us in the, in the room that we just... Okay, this isn't that bad. It doesn't make us do the whole cave again. Like, I remember this red guy specifically, and having to fight him thousands of times to try to get to this next guy that kept killing us. Oh! Well, I can't... I can't do that! I need to turn into a fairy. Or learn how to jump high? I can't remember which one it is. CM Punk versus Hornswoggle at WrestleMania, and Lita versus Beth Phoenix for the tag belts. All right, your booking might be a little obscure there, but I'd watch it. I'd give it a go. I would absolutely give it a go. Ah, uh, all right. So I must have missed a wise man. Did I? Did I talk to the? Did I talk to the old man in this? In this place. Or did I just took to the old man in the other place? I think it was the other place. Is it purple lady that takes me to the old man? Maybe a bit over this way. Never made it as a white man. I couldn't cut her as a poor man stealing in this house. You remind me. Wait, do you? Take me to your father. Hello! Do not go south without a... Thanks. Is anybody gonna take me to see your old man? There's a woman outside a house. Oh, okay. I thought she was just one of the ones that happened to pass by. Please let me help you come inside. She just heals me. I want to talk to your father! I don't want a sexy, sexy fun time. I want to talk to your father. Uh, stop and rest here. Oh. I can give you magic. <laughs> okay. Excuse me? Sorry, Amber? What did I say? Goria of Pentari stole our trophy. That's too bad. Let me in your house. Good morning, Rogue. You're actually here for one of the morning streams. Well, wow, congratulations. I uh, Welcome. I hope you're doing good. I hope all is well. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody here, Matt. I'm leaving. Uh, I guess I need to find a trophy. I guess I do. The Goria stole it. So it's at the end of... There's a cave. There's a cave. And they've got the trophy at the end of the cave. But I've got to fight two or three of them in a row or something. 
where's the cave? Down here? Oh, we went in that cave already. Oh. Oh. Stop. Also not giving any experience. Why am I here? Oh, north of the starting place. You told me already. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Zapping these enemies, man, when you're one power level higher is great. It's very good. Oh, this cave. Right. The one cave we haven't been in. Oh, zapped him. And they're given 10 experience as well. All right, 500 is the next big upgrade. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to kill more than that. Hooray! Now she'll let me see your grandfather. Bats! Rogue, how was your, uh, how was your week? How's your weekend looking? Heading into a good weekend? Lots of fun planned? So excited for the Royal Rumble. I'm off to work later, Gators. Later, uh, B. Enjoy, uh, enjoy work. Don't work too hard. Wah, 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 wah. Weekend looks nice and calm. Oh, excellent. Good stuff. Glad to hear it. I hope everybody's got a chill weekend uh, ahead of them. Busier one on my end, but it's all good stuff. It's all it's all good time, fun, busy stuff. Not not work time. Don't want to do it. Busy stuff. You know what I mean? This week was long and tedious. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. With this, you can jump very high. Uh, table did look a bit sus. Yeah. There's something that you can, like, investigate in one of the houses near the table and it says something weird? I don't remember. Why haven't you asked how my game of Cult of the Lamb is going? I did notice you signed in to Cult of the Lamb. How is it, though? You, you enjoying it? Should heal over here. Um, there was, like, an update for that recently. Where apparently... It's a bit sexy? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so now we can jump high, which means okay, now we go through this cave. How come the one woman says don't go south without a candle, but she doesn't say don't go south unless you can jump real high? She might want to add that in. To her welcome to the town spiel. The si yeah, yeah, the sinful pack. Crud. Crud. Okay. I think I did a little bit better against him that time. Ugh! Oh no! Oh, stop it! I don't care about no foundlings. Don't put me in with the rest of you, you baby lovers. What? Uh, I... Is there an argument about whether or not people like Grogu these days or not? I haven't been, I haven't been keeping up with anything Star Wars, so I don't know. Do people hate Grogu now? It seems... It's too bad. I like Grogu. We're up to nine deaths. Oh my god. That's not bad. That's not bad for no rewinds. 
One of the weaker elements of the show. I mean, I always, I never really like it when there's child that needs to be protected in a storyline. I, I don't, I don't like that. It, it's, it's kind of like a cop out for, uh, we need stakes, in my opinion. But, you know, I think the animatronic is great, and the stories that they've told with that character so far have been pretty decent, so I, you know, those stories wouldn't have been the same without Grogu, so gotta give him props. There are much more interesting stories than how many frogs he can fit in his mouth. True, but I don't think there's a single episode of The Mandalorian where that is the revolving factor of the episode, you know what I mean? It's just a thing that happens in the background, and he's cute about it. These guys suck. I think The Last of Us did well. Us, oh, yeah. I, but that's also like the the same kind of idea of protecting this smaller smaller person creature, I guess. Yup. Yeah. Ah. Do 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 do. Same idea, but they did it well. Yeah, it can be done well. It can definitely do, be done well. Never played, and I've never watched, so I don't know anything about it. All right. I don't know how you're any, supposed to do that any better. Also, how come I'm not starting on this screen this time, and I did last time? Why is it making me fight them all this time? What's up with that? Yeah! Oh, this is the third screen. Yeah, right. Okay. The Last of Us series is very good, yes. But I... I, I you need... You absolutely need to be in the right mindset to go through so much trauma and loss in a television show. And I am... The, la the last two or three years, I have not been in a place for that kind of content, so... <laughs> nah. No thanks. Not right now. Once my mental health gets a little bit better, maybe. But not right now. <laughs> Comic relief or a damsel in distress. Yeah. I still don't love the idea of... You know, Wolverine... Uh, sorry, Logan... That, that was fine, but I still don't love that concept as a storytelling plot device. Great movie, great acting, great performance, great story, but I just don't like the, oh, this man has to, or the, this character has to babysit this other character for the whole movie. Like, I just, that's just never been my favorite kind of story. But, like, it's a great movie, and they did, they did that type of story well. All right, we're going to use save states now. I said I wouldn't rewind, but we're going to use save states because the game is just being a bit of a prick. Tell me why he's allowed to throw this many this quickly and he has three different places that he can throw them where I can only block two. What the fuck are you supposed to do here? Oh yeah, I said no rewinding. I didn't say no save states. We we will we will spend the rest of the stream in this cave. Otherwise. All right. Oh. I guess if I lead him over here. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Want to hint? Gorillas are tough. No, they absolutely are. They absolutely are. Uh, any any hints are welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Granted, I don't know if they will help, but I will do my best. We are also not playing this game to beat this game. We are playing this game to say we played it a second time and then never play it ever again. So, 
I guess it honestly doesn't really matter if we're if we're stuck in this cave for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Stab him faster. That, that's do it better is some pretty good advice, yeah. Guard in front of you. Yeah, but the boomerangs come from behind. How are you supposed to guard in front of you and deflect the boomerangs that are coming back? I mean, I guess deflect them before they can get behind you, I guess, but... Hmm. Be more aggressive, maybe? Use a gun? I think that, that would work. That would work. Let's try it again. How do I... How do I... Oh my god, look at them all. Look at them all from before. Oh, I could I could take on the the final the final boss. I could do it again. Look at this. 06 06 2019. That must have been when I finished. A legendary. A legendary day. There we go. Oh yeah, I, I've 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 beat the game before, uh, C G H G U. <laughs> I've 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 beat the game before, but uh, didn't enjoy a single second of it. So we're we're just having a having a revisit to see if that's changed at all, and I don't think it has. That first little bit I was enjoying, but then as soon as it throws these pieces of shit at you. There we go. All right, yeah. So being aggressive is definitely the way to go. I do challenge anybody else to play this game. I really do. Without rewinds. Because anybody can play this with rewinds. Like, if I just... Try that again, you know what I mean? Anybody can do that. No problem. But we're not doing that. Love this game, yeah. A lot of people do. There are there are a dev there's a devote fan base to this game, absolutely. But I think it's poorly made and unfair. <laughs> so I love the concept. I love the concept. I love the I love the gameplay loop. I love I love the idea of going into dungeons to make yourself stronger, to find different magic spells, talking to people, learning about things. I like the level up progress, the system and stuff like that. I I just think it's poorly made and unfair. At the end of the day. The phrase you're looking for is Nintendo hard? No, it's unfair. It's not Nintendo hard, it's unfair. It's an unfair video game to play. It is it is not made to Like it almost feels like it is an arcade game that was made to suck quarters out of people and now there's just there's just no quarters. We can agree to disagree, absolutely. But I just... Looking at... Gameplay design and how they're made these days, I would argue that this game did not age well, and therefore, in its time, was not made well. <laughs> because Mario Brothers holds up. Super Mario World holds up. I don't think this game holds up. If they remake it, and they change a few things, and they make some improvements, then I think, yeah, great game. But this version of this game, I do not think was well made. Well well designed. I think it is well made. I don't. I just don't think it's well well planned, well, well thought through. Give me that fairy. Like these random instances of enemies showing up and stuff like that, it's fantastic. You can't tell me that this game is Nintendo hard when one of the puzzles is literally walk around the map until you find the secret square that's hidden. That is not a game. That is a random lottery chance. Don't agree to disagree. Cage match. Oh, there you go. Cage match. That would be pretty good.
That's why Nintendo games were so hard back in the 80s. They were still separating the concept of difficulty as a means of generating money from difficulty as a means of fun. Yeah, and that makes sense, yeah. It makes sense. I understand that there was, you know, a learning curve on how to make games enjoyable. But again, I would argue that this one did not do that. This is not in... I, but again, for some people it is. It's opinions. It's opinions. That's all it is. Having grown up with these games as well, Matt, I'm sure there's a bias there. Whereas, you know, I would... I would put... As a kid, this is the game that I would put in. I would walk around on the overworld, get annoyed that I would get murdered all the time, and I never played it again. Like, as a kid, I hated this game. And this was, this was supposed to be a game for kids. So... Get fisted. And again, we can go back to the we can go back to the silly joke, oh toddler's bad at Zelda or whatever, but like I don't I don't think that is a factor here. I think I think this game is the problem, not me. Wah! Okay. Now we're on to the third one. Now we just need to jump. I, we've made it through. I think we've made it through. What's next? Is it just the hole? Ah, oh, we did it! Uh, uh, I'm gonna take magic co-op. I don't care. Screw it. It's gonna stop me from being asked every time. <laughs> Not a single life lost in this cave yet. No, that was a good run. That was, that was, that was the more, that was the run we wanted. Come on. What games from your childhoods did you like? Did you guys like put in and then say, ah, no, never mind. That's not the one for me. Were there any of yours, like any games that your dad or your mom played or anything like that that you like ever tried that just was like, what the hell is this? And you just couldn't understand it. Was there anything like that? Is this the, is this the, is this the fish bridge? Is this the fish bridge? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Making our way across the fish bridge. Ah! Now that, oh my god. Dragon Warrior, but I was like six years old. I think that's fair. I tried to play Dragon Warrior a few years ago, and I couldn't understand it. So I don't think <laughs> I don't th I don't think uh, you're to be faulted on being six there. Okay, there we go. I hate that place. Uh, where are we? Hello. Fun fact: that fish bridge was going to be part of the fishathon last year. Uh, I think there was a, or it might have been on the rewards section, uh, the the rewards thing before the webcam broke. I was going to, uh, I was going to have to cross that fish bridge any time, like I didn't complete a challenge or something like that. Yeah, memorizing all of the attack patterns is is absolutely huge. And just being comfortable with the controls, right? Like, if you play this game frequently enough, I'm sure that fighting these enemies doesn't, um, doesn't present that much of a challenge. But again, this is the first time I've played this game since 2019. Um, so, like, there's no muscle memory, there's no, there's none of that. So, that, you gotta take all that into a factor, too. Oh, hello, Jim! Jim the Sleepy Slime? Will you give me a kiss? Thank you. Hard to believe it's been five years. It's hard to believe that 2019 was five years ago. <laughs> That's wild. That's ridiculous. Only town folk may cross this river.
Wasn't 2020 just last year, right? Wasn't it? Ah, uh, four years ago. Five years ago, yeah. Wild. Next January will be five years since I've been streaming on this channel by myself. Five years since the pasta party split. And that's something. Because, yeah, I would have been doing... I would have been doing Zelda 2 on... On the Pastor Party channel, not the Swirly Pilgrim channel. I probably didn't need to have to cross this bridge yet, did I? Go, Link, go. Why do they sometimes always shoot fireballs, but then sometimes never shoot fireballs? I thought I found it right away, but I didn't. These fucking gnats. I think one massive improvement that they could have made to make this game more tolerable as well is to just have the enemies drop fucking, like, health. That would have... Oh, I was one block away. Like, if the enemies dropped health a bit more frequently, this game, I think, would be tolerable. 100%. Bagu is my name. Show my note to Riverman. Thank you. Will do. That makes me a... That makes me a resident, so now I can cross the bridge. Pilgrim TTV, hello! That's not me, that's someone else. That's a different Pilgrim, what's up? Thank you so much for the hydrate, I appreciate that. I noticed there was a follow from Pilgrim TTV the other day. But uh, thank you, thank you for the, uh, for the follow. I'm gonna run so I don't die. I'll go die on the fish bridge instead of in the forest, you know? All right. Yeah, there it is. There it is. How you doing? Nice name, by the way. I agree. Nice name to you as well. Big fan. Big fan. Same brain. Oh, oh, oh! Stop it, fish! Ah! 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 I made it through. We did it. We made it through the fish bridge. You want a flashback? Give me a second. Oh, I feel like I know what that is. I don't know if there are any Zelda 2 clips. Did we have any Zelda 2 clips? We didn't have clips being made as much as we do these days, that's for sure. Back then. Hello? Lord Salad Bar? Oh yeah, that was that- we, we played Destiny 2 that one time. Hooray! We crossed a bridge! Now we need to go find the mirror. Where is that? That's probably in another cave, right? And look, a cave! <laughs> oh, fuck's sakes! Ah! All right, let's watch this clip real quick. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh my God! What on the Jesus planet? Oop! Oh yeah, I remember what this is now. Yeah. Yikes! Big yikes! What was your prediction again? Your prediction? For for what? Look how many deaths I had at this point. Zelda 1. Uh, look who's in the chat as well. Todd Todd was in the chat. Tomcat's in the chat. Cody's in the chat. No, I had it muted. Hold on. Oh my god. What on the Jesus planet? <laughs> These two... Christ, Christ on a cross... Worms a just appeared out of nowhere. Boyle, get away from me. Fuck Zelda 1 as well, honestly, if I'm being honest. If we're talking, listen, fuck Zelda 1. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't only hate Zelda 2. I do also dislike Zelda 1. 
it's just too hard. It's too hard. It's not fun. Uh, has my capture card broken? Oh no, I pressed pause. Uh, does do you have a route for here, Matt? I don't want to figure this out. Hold on, I can look it up. I don't need to. I oh, know you're looking at clips. Uh, Zelda 2. What is this called? Is this Death Mountain? Is this... Uh... Let's look up a walkthrough. Dun, 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 dun. One praise I will give the game, though, is, uh... Is the music. The music is, is pretty good, pretty damn good. Big fan. Okay, I found it. Oh my god, this is Death Mountain. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, this is probably where the run dies today, if I'm honest with you. That's the exact same walkthrough I found, Matt. <laughs> Incredible. This is probably where the run dies. I'm not gonna be I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if I can tolerate this today. We'll see. We will see. Oh, that was your prediction. Yeah, alright. Well, I think that's fair. Let's see if we can make it through Death Mountain. This is what I think built up, like, at least 200 deaths the first time I did this. So we'll see. Doing the, like, stab attack from the air move is also very good in this game. Uh, okay, there's one room done. I'm gonna go down here. We'll get a level up soon. Like, they drop stuff like that all the time, but it's never health. Oh, no. And, like, health is what you need. <laughs> That's what we need! I should have made a save state at Death Mountain. Now we walk all the way back! Ugh. We're already up to 22 deaths today as well. Not bad. Health would make the, way the game way too easy. No, health would make the game an enjoyable and fun experience. Whereas without the health, it just makes it a chore. A travesty. Doo -doo -doo. But thankfully, Death Mountain is where you get the hammer, so you can kind of surpass these walking back sections. Have, have you ever played Zelda 2 Rogue? Have you gave it a try before? I'm sorry to anybody who came in here thinking, Oh man, this guy's gonna be playing Zelda 2 and talking about how good it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's what you tuned in for. Does Majora's, Ca Does Majora's Mask count as Zelda 2? I think so, yeah. I think they're pretty... they're similar enough. Same basic idea. Oh. Majora had a cat? Sorry? Where Where did that come? I didn't know that. Meow Jora? Just fucking blue fire in my face. Meow Jora's cat? Is that what I said? Sorry. I mean, listen, if Majora had a cat, I don't think we'd complain. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh, God. I would also play that game. Do you have to fight Majora's cat, or do you have to, like, rescue Majora's cat? He's like, listen, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you that one time when I was a mask or whatever. But, uh... My cat got loose, and you're the only guy I know who, who might be able to help. 
you've got like a sword and shield and stuff. So like, let me a hand, yeah. Oh fuck you, fuck you. I was gonna fight those guys, but then I remember I had to do fish bridge again. So. Trying to. There we go. Whoa. Uh. Sword and shield? No, no, that's Pokemon. Oh, you're true. You're true. Good point. That's not who we're after at all. We need the other guy. You play it like Stray. Oh, now see, that's okay. We need a Stray mod for Majora's Mask. Someone mod Majora's Mask, call it Majora's Cat, and then you just play as a cat wandering around Termina. As Link is also doing his thing. Where's the sexy fun time lady? Is it you? Ow! That was a witch! Hey, it's me again. Can you bring the bridge down for me? I do know Bagu, yeah. We're best friends. We are pure besties. Oh, me and me and Bagu, we go way back. Yump. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Just to save us some time. Um, would you guys buy this if they put out a Zelda 2 remake? Like, if they, if they, new graphics, maybe some gameplay quality of life changes. Remade 2.5D on, like, the Switch, let's say, or next-gen system, whatever it is. Would you play it? Would you buy it? Or is it maybe a pass for some of you? Because it's a day one buy for me, I think. I would, I'd be so curious to see what they do to the game. It would be a day one buy. So as much as I talk shit about the game, I'm also buying the remake day one, so... <laughs> What was the question? Uh, if they remade th this game, would you buy it? Would you pick it up? New graphics, maybe some quality of life changes. But maybe not. Are you buying it? Or no? Didn't buy it the first time. Like, hell am I going to buy it this time? But it would be better this time. And also, you were, like, not born the first time. <laughs> You might have bought it the first time. Had you have known. Oh! Oh, come on. Come on, bats! Fuck it. Fuck it! Polished turd is still a turd. Uh, I mean, I guess so. But it's a polished turd then, and it's much more impressive. <laughs> and much more, uh... Enjoyable. Okay, I definitely went a wrong way at some point, I think. Oh no! I'm doing it, I'm doing it right. Go, go! Uh... Okay, uh, and then, I mean, the only other way we can go. Why not grind some experience on that axe, dude? Can you do that? I mean... <laughs> We're gonna just start the whole thing over again. How's that sound? But I, th I thought they... Don't they disappear when you kill them? 
I'll, I'll check again. Do 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 do. If I leave and come back, will he be back? Axe man, are you here? Yeah, no, I think they're gone. The blue guys are back. Nope, that's that's not true. They don't come back. They stay dead. The blue boys come back. That was Spearman. Oh. Similar to Axeman, but not carrying the same thing. Okay, Axeman must be up this way then. Axeman! Oh, no! Not make it to X Man. There's some magic that you're full on. Thank you, Zelda. This is a this is a common thing that I've complained with Zelda games in the past as well. When a puzzle re re relies on you having a certain uh, type of ammo, let's say, like nuts or arrows or something, and the pots in the dungeon you're in give you everything except the thing you need. That is a frequent issue in Zelda games. And, uh, and it's considerably always nut. a pain in the ass. Exactly. Nut. Nut. Most used sound alert, by the way, from last year. I forgot to point that out. Also, hi, Edville. Good morning. How you doing? This axe man. I see. When you come home, can we play a game on stream? Absolutely we can. Absolutely we can. We'll bring the uh, the Saturday Saturday before wrestling streams back. That nobody watched, but were they were always a good time. They're always a fun time. Fortnite, oh we'll definitely do some Fortnite. Absolutely. Ow! I got him! 70. Okay, uh... Ooh, cancel. Let's just go for the life. Especially now if we can... If we can grind some experience on that guy. Wait, where do I have to go to respawn him? Oh, just... Okay. <laughs> Come back, Axeman. Nah, Tomcat, he's definitely gone. They definitely stay despawned. I wonder... Ow! That would have been great, though. Uh, I have now gone the wrong way. Normally you get the item you need as a dungeon item, so the only pots that give you the items... But that's not true. The Spirit Temple in Ocarina of Time. You get the... You get the Mirror Shield. But there are a bunch of puzzles in that dungeon that require you to shoot things with arrows. And if you don't have any arrows, the pots just either don't give you any arrows, or they give you health, or they give you rupees. And I'm like, why? Why would you do this? Drives me crazy. Happens in so many different Zelda games. Wind Waker's another one. Thankfully in Wind Waker, they kind of learned a little bit. Like Bongo Bongo will sneeze out. Or the Bongo Bongo equivalent in Wind Waker will actually like sneeze out uh, arrows during his boss fight. Because if you run out, you can't damage him. So they learned on that one. But there are some instances that are just like, oh my god, come on. Back when I um back when I would play now granted back when I did my full playthrough of Ocarina of Time when I beat the game in one sitting from start to finish. Um streamer, you know, streaming for eight and a half hours or whatever it was at the time. Stream streamer 
what would you, what would you call it? I was, I was tired. I was definitely tired, I was crooked, I wasn't getting all the upgrades, so like I had like the smallest amount of arrows I could carry. So part of that was on me. But I remember, like, I couldn't get to the last boss because I didn't have any arrows, and the only way I could get to the boss was to leave the dungeon and run around Hyrule, punching down bushes until I could finally have enough arrows to, to progress me through the dungeon. And that was, a, that sucked. That was, that was shitty. <laughs> I was not a fan of that. So again, it's, that's, and it's happened to be in Majora's Mask as well. But again, having played all the Zeldas now as well, I've got my gripes, I've got my grimes. Uh, and some of them might be a bit more specific than others, because not everybody's played every single Zelda game, so. Except the CDIs. Listen, I didn't play the CDIs. I know. I know. Not every single Zelda. Most of them. Okay, we got him. We'll go get his brother for that cheeky bit of extra experience. These guys are like the easiest guys to kill in this game. Steam fatigue. That's stream fatigue. That's what I was trying to think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which certainly does, you know, just make things more annoying, but it also makes the streamer a bit more intolerable to, <laughs> to little annoyances like that. So again, that could have had a big deal on it, but again, I just, I don't like not having those items in those games. Like why, why, why is there an ammo limit in the first place? What does that having an ammo limit do to make the game more difficult? Aside from, all right, you just need to leave now and go find some arrows. Like, haha, sucks to be you. Twenty-eight times. We're getting there. We're getting up to four hundred. I don't care. I don't care. No. Just let me beat him once. Let me beat him once. Just once. You can count all these, Matt. It creates a gameplay loop of resource management. Yeah, but who 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 sits down to play Resident Evil and is like, I can't fucking wait to manage my resources? Like that's that's not <laughs> that's not why I play Zelda. It's just an annoyance. Oh, Keisha, Matt's got a counter going. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Hi, Keisha. By the way, good morning. How is he not? Oh, thank God. Okay. Holy moly. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. I'm coming in and Tyler's using gold experience to win. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm rewinding. It's fine. It's fine. Husky broke off his tether this morning. That was fun. Oh my goodness. That doesn't sound like like fun at all. Keisha. That sounds horrendous. I assume you got it all under under control now though, right? Tits! Opposite of fun, anxiety was unbust. I I would imagine, I would imagine. Yeah, that's that's a that's a shitty situation to be in. It's never fun when when an animal gets out. I've ended streams before where I've gotten up from my desk and looked outside, only to find that the door 
has been open. And... And thankfully Guybrush is still inside, but I'm like, man, how long has that door been open for? What on earth? So I know, I know the, I know the panic. Did I keep my attack upgrade? I must have. Nice, okay. Blah! Ha! Okay. Now I'm one hitting stuff. Alright, that makes the game easier. You almost do need to grind for experience a little bit. <laughs> My dog once got a new lead put on him, looked at it, uh, bit through the lead, and then took off running. Oh no! Oh no. The link rips have been all over the place today, Advil. I, yeah. There's been quite a few link rips. I think, yeah, I feel like I started skipping those guys at one point. Can you give a suggestion? Uh, absolutely. And Game Nut, hello. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? Get good? A solid suggestion. Won't be happening. Won't be happening. One one thing I'm not gonna ever do is get good at this game. Nah, uh Not on your life. I think I said it. I probably said it the last time I played it, but this will be the final time I play this. This is it. Matt, I think you mentioned, like, until next time we need a sacrifice. No, no, no. This is it. This is the final time. Until this game is remade, I will never play this again. Never, never, never. Gaze upon it now. No, no, we don't need to make it a thing like arms. That would be... Excessive. Oh. Oh. Again, I challenge, I challenge anybody else. I challenge anybody else to stream this. Let everybody, let everybody see how good you are at it. You know what I mean? Never calling my mom back. Say hi for me. I will, I will. She's been worried about you. Thank you for the life heals. <clears throat> you refuse? Smart. <laughs> Smart decision. Do not play this game. She's been worried about your duck. Had to go back and count the deaths against the X-Men. Oh, fantastic. We're up to 42 now, though. That's good. That's good. That's the answer. Do 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 do. Hi, Sassy. Good morning. Welcome to Zelda 2. Zelda 2, the bad one. Huh. At least I do more damage this time. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. Sassy, how was your night last night? I hope you had a good Friday. I hope you had a good week. So either no more dying or die 27 more times. I think that second one is more likely, Advil. <laughs> I think that second one is much more likely. Knife in your face, old man! Uh, it was chill, can't complain. A little Pal World and such. Oh, very nice, very nice. How's your Pal World experience going so far? You enjoying it? You got you got all the guys? 
Ugh. Or die 378 more times. Also, listen. Viable. <laughs> Viable. <laughs> See that? The game, the game noticed that I had literally zero health, so they were like, here, look, have some mana. I'll just top you up on your mana real quick. Got some hiccups on the server with friends, so I started my own world last night. Yeah, I think, I think that's the best way to play Pal World right now. Having a server is really nice because it is social, but the game just runs so much better when you're on your own, just solo world. I think that might just be how I play it for the next little while as well. Just until the server stuff gets gets a bit more updated and whatnot. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm not using my magic as much as I should be. You're right. If I if I know that there's a fight coming up that's difficult, I should be using my magic and I'm not. Okay, so that's that's on me. That's on me. Oh. Something I noticed through that with the latest hotfix, I'm crashing a lot more. On your own world, Game Nut, or on a server? Because I've noticed on the server I've been crashing a lot more lately. On your own world, oh, that's too bad. Uh, guys, I don't want to do that anymore. And you know, oh, okay, so for the, for the, specifically for the punishment's sake. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Specifically for the punishment's sake, because I don't want to do this anymore, I will do this one more time. And then I think we're going to call it there for the day, because I don't, I just don't, I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> we, we've made it to Death Mountain. We knew this was going to be the killer of the run. So we might as well just let it be. Prediction confirmed. I think valid. Valid prediction. Fuck Death Mountain. Fuck Zelda 2. Screw this whole game. It's bad. Don't play it. I just challenge people to play it. I rescind that. I take that back. Don't play it. Don't take on my challenge. Switch to Ocarina of Time randomizer? I mean, I, I do love a randomizer. Ow. Is there crowd control Zelda 2? I think I'd I think I'd I think I'd just give up. I think I'd just end end everything then and there. There we go. You almost gave up on the game at Death Mountain a decade ago? Well there you go, yeah. That's the that's the spot. That's the spot that gets me. And other people, I guess. Not just me, so that's good to know. Die, old man! Zelda 2 has crowd control? I don't really want to do crowd control. I'm thinking I probably will just do a game of Fortnite or two. Have a little break and we'll do some Fortnite. Do, 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 do. Zelda 2 crowd control would allow us to give you health, probably? Yeah, but that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen. After watching him bash his head against a wall for so long, yes. Uh, I, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe. I do not have faith. My my trust in that. Long gone. I gotta make it to Death Mountain again first, though. That's the only thing. And then we'll give it one more college try. Oh, oh. Please, please. No. Ah, okay, we did it. We did it. No! There we go. Give yourself a reward for struggling through this by popping some fools and some Fortnite. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds like a good idea. I, I don't remember where I placed, but I had one round last night where I had 16 kills. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but that's pretty sick. That's not bad. Come on. Might have been the second place one, yeah. 
I relied on the shield then too, and I shouldn't have. I, I regret that one. I regret that one. That was that was a that was a possible win if I didn't have the shield out. Kaizo Mario. I think I would hate Kaizo Mario more than this. <laughs> I hate Mario Maker for that very same reason. Even the even the easy levels annoy me in Mario Maker. I don't like having to do the same thing over and over again to progress slightly more every time. That is not my. That is not my playstyle. Some people, like Manny, Manny see a difficult level in Mario, and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna do this over and over and over again until I achieve it, and that's their sense of, uh, that gives them a sense of accomplishment. To me, I'm like, I'm gonna try this twice, fail twice, and then never do it again, and I don't care. <laughs> so. That, 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 that's why I don't like roguelikes, right? It's the same reason. It's it's just the same thing over and over again in hopes that you get a little bit better the next time. And I just don't have the patience for it. I don't. I, it's not my kind of gameplay. It doesn't give me a sense of accomplishment. It gives me un, overwhelming anger and frustration to a point of... Well, Salty Pilgrim comes out, doesn't he? And then no one has any fun. So, just not my game styles. Yeah, not having to do the backtracking to get back to where you were in Mario Maker that, or Mario Kaizo. That is a benefit for sure. That is better. But at the same time, like, even though you don't have to do the backtracking in Mario, I find like a lot of Mario Kaizo levels, you just start the level and you're dead. You start the level and you're dead. And you've got to spend the first like two hours trying to figure out how to survive more than three seconds. So it's just, it's just the same kind of frustration, but with less cooldown period. Because at least during the walk back in Zelda, you get to, like, cool down a little bit, let some of the rage out. In Mario, it just builds up. Uh, I'm not going to go for the X-Guy upstairs, because I don't think we really need the experience. Yeah, building the muscle memory. See, that's, that's, that's what it is. I just don't have the patience for it. Oh no! No, no. We played we played some Kaizo Mario 64 in the past, um, and I've seen I've seen uh, some Kaizo levels done in Super Mario World. Trust me, playing a Kaizo in a different game is not going to convince me to like them. I 100% guarantee you that I am confident in telling you right now that I will not enjoy a Kaizo no matter what game it comes from. They are not my kind of gameplay. No, he, got, he gets us again. This guy is a piece of shit. Like, you can't do enough damage. I go in there with full health and avoid his unavoidable attacks, dealing as much damage as I possibly can, and it's still not enough to kill him. Uh... Like, I can't even duck his attacks. I guess I jump? Yeah, jumping higher might, might help there, I guess. Oh, there's a health kit there, too. Oh, it's fucking magic! Of course it is! Stupid game. I'm done. That's it! Guys, Zelda 2. Bad game. Don't play it. Take it from me. Just don't play it. Just do yourself... Do yourself a favor. <laughs> don't ever play Zelda 2. Oh, my God. What a... What a travesty. What a travesty.